Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are in week seven. Now, I must say, I'm recording this one ahead of time. I'm doing this as the same week as I'm recording week six. I haven't done week six, so I don't know what the score is that we have right now. But future editing, Shmo will show you. Oh. All right. Anyway, we're playing versus Costa Rican Q. He is uh, the Chicago Dragapults. Very scary team. Okay, Zamdos. Yeah, that's why he brought. Let me just real quick do this so I have it on the side as well. There we go. Nice. Uh, Kurum can do some work. Diancy as well. The main issue is that Conkeldor is very scary, but we are gonna do lead Besharp. Um, we have DD Kurum today. It's kind of funny. It's protective pads with dual wing beat just to be able to hit the because uh, like he has like static he has rocky or like rough skin on the dragon static sabdos flame body uh flame body uh, pokeruna so it's kind of funny honestly all right let's begin uh yeah we'd leave bishard with knockoff early start rock on reef So, if he doesn't lead Zapdos, we can T-Weave anything. That's... Okay, that's that. I might be able to just knock, because... Actually, T-Weave might be better. I'm gonna Thunder Weave. Because uh, knockoff is fine, but like a Thunder Weave as well. Like Zapdos is so it shouldn't be switching in on this, I feel. Dragon maybe or the Conk even, but not Zapdos. Uh this thing might also be Taunt Spike's lead, which is also pretty scary as well. Uh but yeah, I'm just gonna T me. Eh? Yellow color, the magic of the yellow color. Also, if I see him off, I'm very tired. <laughs> I need I feel I need to add that, because like uh, I don't want people to ask him questions, I guess. Alright, let's see. Big Kong. That's Kong Kelder. That's fine. We can T wave. That's nice. Because I'm guessing he's Flame Orb as well. Now, he can just Dream Punch us. Um, do we want to get rid of his item? It might be Assault Fest too. Uh, Stealth are going nice for residual so that we can sweep with. Uh, he's gonna have a lot of boots though. Huh. I'm gonna aerial ace. I'm gonna aerial ace. I want, I want some damage on this. Let's see. Just a little bit. He went for knockoff. Okay. That means he can now mag punch. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I don't want to sack this. It's like I do have potential switch in being Moltres. Like, do I want to risk that? That's the issue. Because like, if I put in Moltres, who do, I, who do I invite in? Moltres is actually really great. I'm not going to risk Moltres right now. I'm really not. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna aerial ease again, cause like he can't heal fully uh, with uh, Dream Punch. Like he'll still be low. Close combat, that's fine. Right, Conkeller is very low, and like honestly, this was like the scariest thing, cause we had like zero switches for this. <laughs> so I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh. We could go Moltres, but I don't want to risk a Hurricane miss, so I guess we're going Zapdos and just Thunderous Kick, because uh, most likely the Zapdos is coming in. Uh, and then we can U-turn on that, which is nice. Coquetta is very low. I don't know if he's going to keep this. I'll be very honest, because like, Mag Punch is nice, but like, what are you going to use it for still? Like, it's so low. Yeah, I would sack Kunk, honestly. Right. 
thunderous kick. There we go. And it goes down. Nice, nice. Now we do know that Kirame is our wing con. Uh, he lost one, I lost one. I lost my Bishar. Bishar would have been nice versus the rest of the team as well still. But like, uh, I gotta make my priorities. And try to get the sweep in with that Kirim. Alrighty, Drodigan comes in. Now, he might glare. It's not fun. Uh, could go Diancy. Or I could just Thunderous Kick. It's like, what am I using Zapdos for right now? The speed is nice for Volcarona. Yeah, still, I guess I'm just U-turning. I'm just U-turning. I'm not risking it. Alright, good damage. And protective pads, very effective. Alright, uh, so he might glare. Multiple is not a good switch. I, I need my dance, he healthy. So I guess I'm going Orb Beetle. He wouldn't go for a rock move, I believe. Rocky helmet as well. There we go, that's why we ran protective pads, baby. Uh, he's toxic, he's not glare. Uh, that's something. Uh, most of his other ones are special. Maybe Frostlight might be physical, but honestly, I think I could just uh, Future Sight first. Yeah. Or I can Light Screen for the God of the Garva that would switch in. I feel like Garva would switch in versus this. Or this could stay in, but like, still getting chipped. You turned it that much. And that's resisted. Uh, if I was close combat, I could have maybe killed it. But the good thing is, when my thingamabob dies, I can switch into my uh, Kirin. Alright, Fubuki comes in. Can light screen. I might still be able to use this. So I think I'm just gonna U-turn, in case he taunts me. Shadow Ball won't kill me. Uh, Poltergeist, that's physical. Not likely, that's gonna hurt. So it is physical. Yeah, and I do die, but that's fine. You did well over Beetle. You took the Toxic like a champ. Uh, so it is physical, so that means Moltres is pretty free, right? I could Toxic, but like... What comes in on Moltres? Don't need Moltres. Diancy is my soft check versus the other two. I guess I'll go Moltres, yeah. I'll just Toxic, expecting the Zabdos to come in. And I can keep Moltres for potential... Um, if he switches... He's gonna Ice move me. Triple Axel shouldn't kill. I might get a burn, that's the issue though. So I need to... I actually need to roost. I think I need to roost, yeah. I'll roost. Freck it. Damn. I should've toxic, I should've toxic. I should've stayed with my guts. Uncle Zard. Uh, honestly, if something gets toxic, Zabdos is fine. I'd rather have my Moltres not on a timer. That's toxic, that's fine. You know what? Does this thing even get facade? Cause like, <laughs> that would've been nice. Like, uh, thunderous kick into facade or something. All right, but now we can thunderous kick again. Just drop the defense. Stays in, alright, so we get this off. I love this animation, it's good. Yeah, wouldn't kill, but that's fine. Now you turn though. It is minus one defense. Dragon Claw, shouldn't kill. Nice. 
And now I think I can U kill this by U-turning. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm just gonna U-turn. No, it's too much HP, isn't it? Well, I got my Zapdos. It should be faster as well. Uh, my Moltres. I mean. So if it doesn't kill, he might still go for uh, Dragon Claw, which is fine. Ooh, almost, almost. All right, uh, I could go Diacy with a Dragon Claw. No, Moltres is like my defensive mom. I can go with Moltres. Stealth Rock, that's fine. Still survived, okay. Ah. Uh, could defog. Nah, I need to hurricane so I don't get toxic. Uh, I do manage to hit, which is nice. Alright, let's see. Now Zapdos comes in though. Let's see how much Zapdos does. Doesn't kill. Thunder. Bolt. But it's zero special attack. Imagine 252 special attack, that's roll. And honestly, Moltres might still be nice for the. I think I'm gonna keep Moltres and just go Diancy. Because there's not really a Diamond Storm switching right now. There's none. We're AV, baby. Rain Dance. Oh, that's Weather Ball. That's nice. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Zapdos, uh, Weather Ball, uh, in Rain, where's Diancy, 31 to 37, that's fine. Let's just Diamond Storm then. 50 to 60. Oh no, that's zero attack. Oops. Let's see. Oh, that might be zero special attack. I do manage to connect. And now the Zabdos is really low as well. Uh, does it kill me? I don't risk anything. Yeah, I don't risk anything. So I guess I just Diamond Storm again. He might still think he needs a Zapdos for my uh, Zap um, for my Zapdos because of static and stuff. No, he just goes for Weather Ball again. So I'm guessing he probably has like a Scarf Gardevoir, if anything. All right, do much to take care of that. We hit it twice. I've yet to get the boost. It's not really 50%, is it, Diancy? <laughs> it's really not 50%. You're lying to me. Diancy, I thought we were friends. Right, Gardevoir comes in. So I'm guessing you are Scarf. And honestly, Diamond Storm should be fine. It's more, it has more Spadef, so... Yeah, I'll just go Diamond Storm. And now with the rain, my Hurricane is uh, can hit anyway as well. Yeah, that's fine. Still have a turn of rain, right? Yes! Alright, good. Now we get to Hurricane something. Uh, let's see, Zapdos is gone. Yeah, there's no real Hurricane switches are, are there. I'm fine with this. The Renance was actually really smart because like then my flamethrower would be weaker as well. But like I didn't even bring flamethrower. Flamethrower would be nice. But I'm Mono Hurricane. Here I am. Rocking like a hurricane. Ooh, that specs. Oh, that's crit. Never mind. That's something else. Entirely. <laughs> I kinda sucks. 
if if I'm being honest. So my Moltres is my only check against. Ugh, that means I need to set up with uh, Curum. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll have to do that then. We'll just sack this. Ah, uh, Gardevoir. Yeah, that has to be Scarf. Alright, so Gardevoir. Choice Scarf with Saki. 47. That is one DD that I get off. And I'm faster. It's rough, buddy. It's real rough. Yeah. That's really rough, but I'll have to go for it. Ooh, with the rocks as well. Saki does four, 39 to 47. As long as he doesn't crit me, I should be fine. I should be fine. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and as soon as this uh, thing is gone, I can... Outreach as well. Alright, so plus one. Plus one. Isaac Spear should be guaranteed. It does stay in. I do live. I'm able to Dragon Dance. And I am faster. Now, I need two hits. Yeah, two hits, and I'm guaranteed to go. So that should be fine. Or I can just do a wing beat. I'm not gonna do a wing beat. I'm just gonna. Please, just don't miss. I just. I. All right, thank God. That's one, and that's two. All right, so now. Frost last. Uh, let's see, choice band. Do wing beat does a kill. I need to outreach, and he only has the. Oh, this I can do a wing beat. I'm do wing beating this. That's good. That's good. And this should die because I'm protective pets. Man, this is why you bring the pets. Always fight safely, kids. That's the rule. You gotta fight safely. Hey. There we go. Protective pads, the team. It's doing it. All right, so now we need to outreach. And then we should kill. Unless it's Sash. Then it would suck. Because then I think I lose. If it's Sash, I lose. But it wouldn't be Sash, I feel. It's like, would you run Sash and not lead it? No, you wouldn't. Alright, so I'm just outraging. Ice Shard shouldn't kill me. Ice Shard. Does Ice Shard kill me? <gasps> Does it get Ice Shard? No. No. Yes? I don't remember. Oh, this is tight. That will, that has to be a roll. Like I shard ninety to twenty-three percent uh eighty-seven. So that's not banned. Uh thirty to sixteen. Wow, that was tight. That was that was tight, that was tight. But oh god, protective pads really saved me out there. Thank God for that. Alright, that was a good one. I hope my week 6 will go as well, but uh, I'm going to do that battle hopefully soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, it's my birthday in like 3 days. but So you can like the video already, but like for the video I won't see it's my birthday. Because like it will be long half past. But anyway, still like the video. Like, what are you doing? Do it. Do it. Do it!